I thought somebody said something. <laughs> what is up, y'all? This is your girl, Go Mom. I'm coming back to y'all. Yes, I'm coming back to y'all to show y'all how I oil my scalp. Because I need to prepare my scalp for a long-term protective style. So, I'm going to be needing to put some oil in it, okay? So, I got this oil here that I had mixed up. A little concoction of um, jojoba oil and peppermint oil. We're just going to keep it simple. Keep it cute. That's it. Jojoba oil versus peppermint oil. Uh, my peppermint oil look like this. I don't even know if y'all can see that, but it's the now brand of peppermint oil and some jojoba oil that looks is the now brand also on Amazon. I got it from Amazon.com. So I mix those two up together. Shake them around, wrench around, wrench it off. I already got my hair in sections, as y'all can see. Got my hair sections, sections off already. How y'all doing out there today? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. Anyways, I got my hands four sections and I'm just going to go through and I need to oil my scalp, y'all, because I'm getting ready to put it away. So, I'm going to need for my scalp to be oiled. For one, because I need it to be oiled. For two, um, when I oil my scalp and I massage it in, it helps me stretch out my hair because I am relaxed. If you don't know, hey, y'all go, my girl, and my hair is relaxed. Okay, um, it helps me to stretch out my new growth just a little bit. So that way when I am braiding my hair, when I braid my hair, because I'm getting prepared to braid my hair down, um, for the winter, or however long it's going to last, um, just putting this little oil in my scalp, and I'm going to braid my hair down, um, for the winter. So I'm going to give my hair a good little massage. Ooh, it feels so good, child. Y'all, it's starting to get cold. I'm so... I don't like the cold at all. Y'all know I am a Floridian. So, in Florida, we don't have, like, like bad cold. It don't be cold long. It just be a little cold. And then they think, you know, it'll be hot again. Or sometimes, don't you feel like it's going get cold. But, anyway. Here, in Alabama, <laughs> it get cold, okay? And I don't like it. So, and my hair... You know, got to be put up for the winter just like a bear, baby. We got to hibernate this thing, okay? So, that is what I choose to do. And plus, it be cold, so I like to wear, like, I use my wigs as like, um, you know what I'm saying? Kind of like a hat or whatever, because they keep my head warm. Plus, that's a long-term protective style for me. Anyways, I massage that my oil into my scalp real good. It feels so good, honey. And you need to massage your scalp because when you massage your scalp, that promotes blood flow. And the presence of blood flow in your scalp, it encourages hair growth. Okay, girl. So, make sure when you oil your scalp, if you're going to put oil in your scalp anyway, go ahead and rub it in and give yourself a little quick massage, okay? You know, you got to pamper yourself. And, um... So you can get your hair to grow, y'all. Because we're on a hair grow journey here. I don't know about you. If you're watching my channel, I'm on a hair grow journey. I mean, I don't know what kind of journey you on. But um, whatever kind of journey you on, I wish you the best. But this is a hair grow journey, baby. I'm in it to win it, okay? So, um, massaging my scalp like that, it, it gets the, um, the oil hot. You know, it, it does get the oil hot. Warm, warm, not hot. Okay, not hot. So it warms up the oil. Let me put this here clip right here. Out my way. So it warms up the oil. So that way, okay, y'all, y'all know my hair already relaxed, right? So that means it's already straight. But my new growth is thick in them. So it's kind of hard for me to um part my hair and uh to the root, to the scalp. Because the new growth in there is so thick. So I am 15 weeks post relaxer Or 16. I don't, I be forgetting chat. But however men, I got a lot of new growth in there. And it be hard to part the comb through there. So before I do all of that. I like to go in with a good oil on my new growth. To like, it'll help, you know, to lay it down a little bit. So that way when I go to part it. To, um, braid it down for the winter. Um... It won't be so hard to part. I ain't got to pop through no naps. You feel me? Okay. All right now. So I'm just going to um 
show y'all how I did that section. Did I try it? I almost. However that section it is, but this is what it is, okay? Um, I'm just going to um, make sure I come through this one real good. And when I got that section good and combed through, in order for me to stretch it, to prepare it, to prepare it to get braided, I got to braid it, okay? Weird, right? But that's what it is. To prepare my hair to get braided, I got to first braid it. At least that's what I'm going to do now because, um, dang, now because, um, that will help my roots lay down. So, but right now, my roots ain't laid down. Woo! Okay, so I'm just going to comb through real good. And I'm going to braid it down. Um, plait it down. I'm going to plait it. I'm going to plait it, yeah. I'm going to plait it down to stretch out my new growth, okay? Um, this is just going to be a kind of a, a tight plait just so my new growth can stretch. So that way when I go to braid it, it won't be so hard to manage pulling the comb through my hair when I braid it. So I'm kind of pulling it a little bit. Okay. So that's what this braid is looking like. And I'm probably just going to do it in four big plaits and then I'm going to tie it up. I mean, I'm going to just wet it to probably to tomorrow. It'll be stretched tomorrow. You know, I know y'all probably like, girl, how you stretching your hair and you relax? Because, girl, I can and I'm stretching the roots, okay? <laughs> okay, y'all, so, um, that right there is going to, is causing a little bit of tension, but not too much. It ain't too tight. It's just enough to pull it and the oil is going to help stretch it out some more. So, when I go to braid my hair, um, tomorrow or the next day, whenever I braid it, baby, I ain't going to have no trouble parting through there you know what i'm saying to get that comb through there so that's what that's for so i'm just gonna go on through and put my oils in there again on this section now y'all i'm only handling my hair like this because it's 15 weeks post and i got a whole lot of new growth and for all my relaxed girls out there you know at 15 weeks it gets kind of little you know it get a little um it get a little challenging new grow versus relaxer okay so this is part of my stretch this is what i do um to help me out with my relaxer stretch because i don't get relaxers you know often probably like every ooh, let me see 20 week no 25 26 weeks yeah yeah, sometimes sometimes I go less, sometimes I go more. No, I don't usually go more than like 26, 27, but sometimes I go less. I'm on a hair grow journey, so if y'all ask, well, why are you going so long without a relax? Because I'm trying to get my hair to grow a certain length. I don't know what a certain length. I want to get rid of my butt. We going to see that. <laughs> That's how funny when I say it, don't I? To me, it do. But yeah, if you believe, you share, receive, and you can achieve, and all that other good stuff that come out to believe. As long as you believe and you can achieve, okay. And as long as you um put in the work by your faith, okay. Cause faith without works is what dead sis. Okay, so first of all, you gotta have faith. You wanna grow that hair, okay? You gotta believe that it can grow. And if you believe it, baby, with all of your heart and your might, baby, you shall. You share, receive, okay? So I'm making sure my hair comb all the way down here. Make sure I can comb all the way through the roots. Because I want to be able to come back and part it real good. Without no problems. Um, when I do come back and part my hair, okay? When I come back to braid my hair. So I got it down in there good. So I'm just going to warm it up. You know how when you like put the flat iron on your hair or the blow dry on your hair and you want, um, you might do a twist out or you put heat on it, that's going to help it to get straight. So me massaging my scalp and then immediately after put a little bit of tension on it, it's going to stretch for me. I don't know about for y'all, but for me it's going to stretch out my, um, my new growth. 
So that way it's more easier to manage um, when it's time for me to braid it up in my long-term protective style. You got to have your hair braided. I mean, like, no, I said that wrong. Whenever you're braiding your hair and you so many weeks post-relaxer, you got to be very careful and make sure that your new growth is stretched out because the line of demarcation is very fragile, y'all. So you got to make sure that it's stretched out and ready to be braided when you do go to braid it because you don't want to braid your hair and be breaking off your hair at the same time, okay? You don't want to do that. Because when you're braiding, you're pulling. So you don't want to cause too much tension on the line of demarcation. That's where the relaxed hair and the new growth meets. I know it looks like I'm being rough with my hair, but don't judge my face, y'all. Because my face is very expressive. And any little ache or pain come to me, you're going to see it in my face, baby. And I'm very tender-headed, so, you know... It just is what it is, baby, okay? So now I done warmed up my, my, um, the roots, you know, the base of my hair. And I'm going to put this in a big plait also. And I'm going to put a little bit of tension on it. But not too tight. Enough that I can stand it. And then I'm not going to be, like, leaving my hair like this for a long period of time. Because eventually it will, my roots will curl back up. But for right now... We're going to do it like this so it can stretch. And then tomorrow, yeah, I got to do it tomorrow. Um, Braid my hat up so that way I still have like, uh, my new growth will still be stretched. Because it don't stay stretched long. My Not my new growth, it don't stay stretched long. So I'm putting these little four plaits in there. And going on about my little business. How everybody doing out there today? Okay, did I even say what's up, y'all? This your girl, Gold Mom. If I didn't, then I just did. And how y'all doing out there today? I sure appreciate y'all for coming on to my video and watching me just uh, do whatever I do. Whatever I come on to do, I appreciate y'all coming on to watch, okay? So, I got that plat in. It ain't real stretch, but what I'm going to do afterwards is I'm going to tie it down. So, that way it'll squish my, my roots. And press my new growth down so that way I would have like my new growth stretched out. Okay, all right. Let me do the same thing to each one. And my scalp feels so good after this little tingling sensation going on, girl. Oof. Yes. So I'm just gonna do the same thing over here. In backwards. And um Give it a good old massage. Warm up them roots. Okay. And um, braid it right on back up. Y'all, I had a good day today. I thank God for that. I've been having good days. And that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Hope y'all been having good days as well. Ooh, giving myself a good little scalp massage. This feels so good, y'all. Don't underestimate the power of a scalp massage, okay? Get that blood flowing to your head, sis, okay? Get that blood flowing to your head. Start eating y'all some good old vegetables, okay? Start eating good, okay? That'll help, that'll promote all this hair growth and stuff. You can't be around here eating seafood balls every other day and expect, you know, good results. There ain't nothing wrong with them, because hell, I know I want me one. But, um... You got to eat some vegetables, okay? Get some good old greens in there. When I say greens, I ain't talking about collards. I'm talking about green vegetables. Broccoli, spinach, you know, asparagus, things like that. Yes, child. This good old help. This good old massage right here. Oof. Baby, I needed this. Put that oil in. Get that massage. You're going to make it get warm. Mmm. When I tell you, okay, feel good. So, comb that through. All the way to the root. Mm. 
So y'all yeah, don't be mad in my face in my videos. Ooh, but I'm real tender headed, baby. Very. Mm. Mm. Now y'all do me a favor. Share this video on y'all social media sites if y'all love me. If it's something that you're interested in, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend, okay? And we're going to start new things on my channel. I'm going to be making more than half videos, baby, because y'all already know back in the days I was I always been more than just half. Um, I had got discouraged because my channel, you know, shoot, everybody growing up, new people growing past me who ain't never been on YouTube before and all that stuff. It get, it get kind of depressing, I admit. It got to me. But baby, guess what? Guess who done found they self? Me. Okay? And guess who don't care about nobody else no more? Me. Don't care. I'm just going to do me, okay? Me is going to do me. Okay? So if y'all got any video suggestions, y'all can leave them below. And if y'all want any, um, if y'all got any shout out requests, y'all can leave, leave those below too. I do shout outs. I say your name. Hey girl, how you doing? And your mama and them and your cousin. Okay. So I'm just going to braid all my hair up. And this is. I'm so lazy y'all. These little four braids might be just might just be the braids. Okay. But they not. They not because I know they not going to last as long as I want them to last. Okay. I know they not. So this is just for the stretch. And so I can braid. Because I need these roots to be stretched out as good as they can stretch. And then I'm going to get me a, um, probably a do-rag or something and tie it down tight and then put one of my bonnets on top. And sleep like that overnight. Let that pressure, let that pressure build up. Let that pressure build up. Girl, what am I talking about? Let the pressure flatten my hip, flatten my hair out. The roots of it anyway. Woo, praise the Lord. Mm. This feels so good. <laughs> <Ooh -hoo. laughs> this feels good, y'all. This the weak side of my brain. Yeah. Yeah, I got one of them. I got a weak side of my brain. I just be saying that because this is the side that every time I, like, put them, um, I guess the side of my, um, head feel the best when I do a massage. Mm, mm, mm. Feels so good. The front part, front part, when I do the massage in the front, baby, okay, try it, y'all, try y'all, good old scalp massage with some jojoba oil mixed with a little bit of peppermint oil, don't put too much peppermint oil now, because it's going gonna, it's gonna to tingle a little bit too much, you want to tingle too much, and y'all see my other, my wash day video, I put peppermint oil in that already, so this is, the next day after that video, but these videos these videos are gonna come in the series now. So whew. glory. Okay. Rub some of that oil on down. And baby, whew. We get the rich just stood on up. Okay. So that's what that's looking like. Mm mm mm. Mm. really coming out but whew. okay we done with that I'm gonna put this one in a plat and going on about our little business on my little merry way this is just temporary until tomorrow and then I'm gonna take it loose tomorrow then I'm gonna braid it up for a long-term protective style okay I got to do it tomorrow because if I wait past tomorrow, my roots going to curl up again. They really is. So, I'm going to just do it to take my scarf off tomorrow and braid it up um, then. Okay, I might make a video. I might not. We going to see. So, stay tuned to my channel. Because I'm on and popping. Even if ain't but two of y'all watching. Oh, that rhyme. I'm on and popping. Even if ain't but. That don't rhyme. Anyway, we're gonna make it rhyme. I'm on the popping. Even even if it ain't what I said. <laughs> I'm on the popping. Even though it ain't but two of y'all watching. Okay, yeah. Whatever. Cool.
corny. I'm done with my hair and I'm going to tie it up and put my bonnet on. Then this is how I'm going to be walking around the house for the rest of the day. Because I need this to be laid down flat. Oh, my hair is, my scalp feels so good. Okay, so that's my hair. I don't know what I shook it for. What I shook it for. So, 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 so ain't nobody going to tell me that I missed the whole slab of hair. Like. I miss the whole slab of hair. <laughs> Anyways, I do that all the time. So I'm just going to get this hair and wrap it around this child and let it be what it is. Okay, it is what it is. It's going to be what it's going to be. Wrap it around there and bam. You going to act like we ain't miss it, okay? So, I just want to fall on the flow. Get up, scarf. Let me be great now. So I got my head scarf. And I'm going to tie my head scarf on. Like, whoa, whoa. Just tie it around there so I can get that, y'all see that, boom, so I can get that flat, so I can put some, um, put a little pressure on that hair at the, at the root, because I need it to be flat, so that way, when I go to part my hair, to put it up in a long-term protective style, it won't be so hard to part, okay? All right. Put that on there like that though. Got my little plate sticking out back there. What is it? Okay. Pull, pull them down a little bit to put a little tension on it. No, this is not tight. They are squeezing my head that I can't think straight. Okay, it ain't that dog on tight. Okay, now that I got the, the scarf tied on. I got oil all around my neck that done dripped. Wipe off the excess oil. So that way, when I go bathe and stuff, put this bonnet on here. And that is all she wrote, baby. Okay? And I thank y'all so, so, so much for watching. And that's all I got to say in this video. And I will holler at y'all later. Bye!